All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys another way to find products on Amazon. And specifically, we're going to be using Pinterest. We're going to be using Helium 10's Pinterest Demand Analyzer to figure out what new trends and what new information is being on Pinterest and then how we can access the information and look at it on Amazon to see if we can find a potential product. Now, if you're at all interested in trying out Helium 10, I have a link down below that will save you 50% off your first month, or you can also enter in the discount code PASSIVE50. Now, one more thing, with any product research method, you don't wanna be going with the very first product that is shown to you. You wanna be collecting data and using the most profitable products that you see, compiling an entire list of products, preferably at least 10 to 30 different products, coming back later on, and selecting the best product winner from that list. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. So when we come to Helium 10, right on the homepage, Pinterest um, demand analyzer is right here. And so it says what's trending on Pinterest right now. And what Helium 10 has done is they show you guys the top results that are being searched, a decent amount of searches per month. And that will essentially allow you to look on Amazon to see if these can be profitable. So all we have to do is just simply hit click to find uh, trending keywords and then it will show you a result. And once again, if you're not familiar with what Pinterest is, it's basically where you are able to go, you create an account and you can like pin topics, images, whatever it is. And then these are gonna be things that people are searching for a lot in Pinterest, which can really give you a good indication on whether or not they're going to be having demand on, on Amazon. And specifically, this is for you know emerging trends and emerging topics, emerging products that may not already be on Amazon. So a lot of the times, if we're looking at this, these specific results are giving us, there may not even be something like this on Amazon yet. And if there is, you can still be in the early stages of it and get in um, before it has a ton of growth. So that's very important. So if we come back to Helium 10, the first thing I showed us was the pallet furniture. And now right off the bat, if we just zoom in a little bit closer to what this is, it looks like it is a furniture, um, it is a furniture type. I'm assuming it's, it's a larger furniture piece. And with this specifically, we're not gonna be selling, you know, a super oversized um, item. But one thing that we can take from this is if people are trying to get pallet furniture on Amazon, there could be, you know, accessories. If people on Pinterest are searching for pallet furniture and they're really interested in this and have lots of searches per month, then there could also be accessories and other items that can be bought with pallet furniture. And so specifically the mindset that we want to come into using this Pinterest trending topics analyzer is to come in with the mindset that it's going to give us a product. And with that product, we're not just going to go straight with this product. We can look at things that may be bought with this product, how this product is used, how it's closely used with, and just think of a ton of different product ideas in our heads. It's really designed to generate you actually thinking and thinking of you know other items that are related that could be used with this product. So we're gonna hit it again and see if we have anything else. So the next one is a white dress. Now, once again, if we were to go on Amazon or we keep it open in Pinterest and it will actually show us exactly you know who is searching for this and what the actual trends are for this product. So we can see that back in early March, it was up and now it trended down recently in the last couple months. And now it's on a upward trend again. And so specifically, this item is being on an upward trend for March, it's gonna be the spring soon, or it might not, or might already be the spring, and eventually it's gonna be the summer. And so we can see that trends for dresses is shooting up. And so this gives us a good indication on whether or not we want to come in on Amazon and figure out exactly what we can sell. It may not be the white dress specifically, it could be an accessory for a white dress, or it could be the white dress itself. But once again, we're gonna be thinking about what we can do with these potential ideas. Now, if we come back here, if we hit it again, we have medium brown hair. Now for this, obviously this is super, you know, you can't sell hair on Amazon, but what can you sell with hair? You can sell um, hair dye, you can sell hair curlers, whatever it is, you should be thinking about exactly what the information is giving you. These are trending topics. And once again, we can open up with Pinterest and see exactly um, why this is trending upwards. And we see right here that it was down for a, for a very long time and now it's trending all the way up. And so once again, let's keep looking. So we have the next, the next trend, candle, candles aesthetic. And so now we have candles aesthetic. Now for this specific term, we can just go straight to amazon.com because for candles, that is something that I'm actually more interested in because there's a lot of things you can do with candles. You can have different scents, you can have different um, 
obviously smells, scents the same thing, but you got different scents, different colors, different bundles. Um, you can have it with an accessory that's closely used with candle, like include like, I don't know, maybe candles plus incense or something where you can really get creative and really have a unique version of this product on Amazon. So if we just type in the word candle and see what comes up next, we have candles for home, scented, candles, gifts for women, candles pack, candles for men, candle holder, candle bulk. And so maybe I want to start with the candle, but now we see candle holder. Maybe that is a actual, a better term. And so once again, we want to just start moving. And so I'll click on candle holder, right? And so with these candle holders, we can already see that um, just based off of the first couple of results, there are, it's not, I mean, it, it is, it is competitive, but once again, this is just to allow us to figure out um, whether or not this is, this product actually has demand, if it's super competitive and just get us along the road of actually looking on Amazon to figure out exactly where we're going to go in this. And with this specific technique, it's more like the maze technique where you start somewhere with a major keyword such as candles and you want to start going down the maze, not knowing where you're going to end, which way you're going to go, but you want to keep looking on Amazon and collecting all this data and being open to starting somewhere and ending somewhere else. And so if we were to click on extra extension to just see if we could see how much they're actually making, we can see if there's any actual room for competing. Now this may not be the best category, but once again, we want to be checking, we're going to be going down every single product that we see going along the maze and seeing if we can actually, uh, do well it's exact and more specifically seeing how the new people are doing seeing if they're doing well and seeing if we can model and do better what they're actually doing so with that being said we have the review count we're going to scroll down a little bit get rid of this first sp first sponsored and then we see um the newer people 74 making 7500 making 7500 dollars per month 48 reviews seven thousand a month um 40 reviews seven thousand a month for um 32 reviews at 1100 a month. Now, they're not making crazy amounts of money, but you do see that there's new people playing in this space and they're making decent money. Now, it is a little bit saturated as we see the couple couple thousand plus reviews, couple hundreds, but at the same time, it's not something that's super complex where you can't come in with your own innovation. And once again, with that being said, I don't know why I asked out, but let me show you guys real quick the search volume for this specific term. I believe it was like 100 plus thousand. So the search volume for candle holder is 106,000. And once again, we don't have to go with this specific product, but it's just starting the it's just starting the product research process. We start with the word candle or the Pinterest term candle using the can using the Pinterest um, demand analyzer, and now we're here. And so once again, be open minded and be willing to accept all the results and be willing to move on and write down results. Now, let's say we want to enter a candle holder, we can write this down in our notes, come back to it later, and see exactly if it was a good fit or not. Now, moving on, let's just hit a couple more times and see what else we see. So from Candle Aesthetics, we have baby pictures. Interesting. Now, obviously, we're not going to be selling baby pictures on Amazon. What we could do with baby pictures, though, is sell an actual um, picture frame or a picture frame in different um, sizes. Maybe we have a circle. Maybe we have a heart. And then, and then these are all going to be compatible with baby pictures. And so if we just come to Amazon and we type in baby pictures. Now, once again, all the results that they show you on the Pinterest um, Helium 10 Analyzer are not going to be actual products that you can sell. But once again, it doesn't hurt just to check it out and see exactly if you can enter this market because once again, these are trending topics on Pinterest. So if we type in baby pictures, we have baby pictures props, baby pictures outfits, baby pictures frames, you know. So once again, we have the frame, but now we can do potential outfits, maybe different props that are going to be used with the baby in the picture to make the picture more aesthetic. And so we can see that if we were to look at each of these individually, these, might, these may have potential, maybe they don't, but once again, this is allowing us to generate ideas and find trending topics on Pinterest to find more and more products. Let's hit this a couple more times just to show you guys, but definitely make sure that you're using this specific technique because it can allow you to generate more and more ideas. Let's say you're really stuck in the product research process. You don't know where to start. This is an easy way to just fail forward and just go through the maze and see exactly if any products stick out to you because once again, these products are on Pinterest with lots of demand at the current time. So the last example, Disney nails. Let's see exactly um, now for Disney nails. Obviously, you're not going to be selling... Um, a Disney painted fingernail. But what you could do is maybe have, you know, I'm not 
I don't really understand nails that much, but you could have like a little stencil set where you could actually easily, you know, create different designs, or maybe you have, um, I don't, not, not too familiar with nails, but definitely you can go down this rabbit hole. And if we come to um, Amazon, we type in nails. What do we have? We have nails kits. So with a kit, with any type of kit, you can have a bunch of different things that you can include and you can figure out exactly what the competitors are doing well and put more of what they're doing well in your kit for a better price with better um, and more uniqueness about, about your kit. And if you know that Disney, that, that Disney specific themes are in trend right now, then we can easily add certain Disney, you know, themed kits and really just cater towards that specific trend and ride the wave up. Now, once again, this is all just going down the rabbit hole, going down the maze. We're not set on any certain product, but we are going to be looking at these different products, spending at least 30 minutes every single day doing product research, because that's really gonna allow you to come up with a giant list of potential products that you can sell, hopefully, on Amazon for profit. Now, just for one more example, let's see what else we have. We have, um, let's see, if it loads, we are going to have Good night, sweet dreams. Now these are specific cards, I'm assuming, where you can, or maybe even books. And specifically for, let's say it was a book. Specifically for books, another thing that you can do is if you want to sell an actual book and you're skilled in writing, another platform that Amazon offers is Amazon's KDP. It stands for Amazon's Kindle Direct Publishing. This is a platform that I have actually used for, you know, I used it about five years ago for a couple of years and I made um, a couple thousand dollars per month pretty consistently but it's very very easy to get started and also it does not cost a it doesn't cost you know ordering a thousand of a product this is a book that you are going to be writing about something that you're passionate about and so it's going to be very easy for you to write the book now what exactly is amazon kdp amazon kdp is amazon's kindle direct publishing so let's say if you want to sell products on amazon and you specifically want to sell a book now what we can do is go to amazon.kdp.com create an easy account, which is very simple to set up. And essentially you're going to be able to sell any books that you create. All you need is a simple copy of the book, which is going to be the words and a simple cover. And then so with those two things, you upload them to Amazon's KDP platform. And now you have your ebook that you created personally that can be sold all across the world. And now it does not cost anything for you to sell each unit. Unlike products, where every single unit you buy, you're paying for it. Obviously, you're making profit off those units, but for the books, they're all eBooks. And so it's very, very easy to get started. It's very low risk. And essentially, it can be very profitable if you target the right niches and you follow the right trends. And the crazy thing is with Amazon KDP, you actually don't even have to write the books yourself. What you can simply do is go to fiverr.com or Upwork.com and basically hire a ghostwriter. Now, what a ghostwriter does is he writes a specific book on the whatever topic you give him and you give him, okay, I want a book written on how to lose weight, 5,000 words, and you pay him, let's say 50 bucks. It's usually around $100 per each thousand words or $10 per each thousand words. And so essentially you're going to get a book written at a very high quality and basically you can have that book you get a cover created as well on Fiverr or Upwork for, you know, a couple bucks. And then you have the content of the book and the actual book cover that you can upload to KDP.com and essentially be making passive income on your ebook that is created and that anyone can buy and you make all the profit from that. And specifically, it is not completely all profit. Amazon takes their cut. But once again, you're not spending extra money for each unit you sell. And as you can see right here, you can earn up to 70% royalty on sales to customers in the U.S., Canada, U.K., Germany, India, so on and so forth. So it's very, very possible to make passive income by just uploading eBooks if you don't wanna do products. Now, once again, this was a quick example showing you guys exactly how to utilize the Pinterest demand analyzer and look at emerging trends, emerging topics, and potentially emerging products that are going to be coming up on Amazon that will allow you to come in at low risk, get in while it's early. And even if you can't, it will allow you to get more and more product ideas to figure out what products you can start and essentially go down the entire maze and the entire rabbit hole to figure out you're starting with a specific search that they give you and essentially you find another product or another accessory that is being bought with that product and you can come up with your own listing and include everything that you want to have your own unique product on Amazon. Now if you got any value out of this video give me a quick thumbs up and subscribe down below because I release multiple videos every single week with step-by-step -step tutorials with me. Now make sure that you get onto helium10.com and try out the Pinterest method see exactly what's trending on Pinterest and if you can apply it to the Amazon product for yourself. Now with all that being said I will see you guys in the next video.